Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I was out um, yesterday, it was raining, so I was running some errands and I've been looking at this Viking battery charger, maintainer and repair. I'm going to put repair in um, quotation marks um, device here. So basically it's a 4 amp battery charger. But the interesting thing about it is it does 6 volts and 12 volts and you get to pick your modes whether it's a gel cell or a, um, a deep charge like a marine battery or you know your standard everyday ordinary battery. Um, when it's done charging it, see right now the display kind of has a red hue to it. It um, changes from that to green and it goes automatically into a float mode. I've been watching it for a little while and right now it's 14.3 volts there. What it'll do is it'll work itself up, up to about 14.5. It'll pause and then it'll start working itself up again, working the voltage start up again. Um, and you can play with the mode switch, you know, to go from the different battery types and all that kind of stuff. But it does not show you how many amps it is charging at. I guess you rely on those bars on the battery there to figure out how much charge you have. Um, you get these things. Harbor Freight, so it was 23 bucks. Fully automatic, microprocessor controlled and all that. Um, if I used this coupon, which means I you know couldn't use the 20% off, but whenever I'm at Harbor Freight, I get the free meter because Harvey's like that. Um, even if I have a hundred free meters, I'm still gonna get another one because every once in a while, unfortunately, I blow them up. Actually, you forget once in a while. They seem to, they seem to, uh, to I seem to blow them up or break the leads or do something, drop them for the 50th time, and they no longer function. So. Having spare meters around, not a bad thing. Um, it's nice and light. So what do I like about it? It's nice and light. If it theoretically does the battery maintain thing, that makes me happy, um, right? Because you can just plug it in. You don't have to worry about overcharging the battery. Um, I wish it showed one of the modes would show what the current, how much current was going into the battery. Um, my big criticism of this thing, and it's not trivial, um, you can swap the leads, right, from these alligator clamps to, um, they included that thing in there, so you can permanently mount it to your battery and just plug this charger in. The permanently mounted one has an inline fuse. Um, the clip-on does not have an inline fuse fuse I had um, by this you see the Delray battery tender I bought a small one of those that would theoretically uh, had the high frequency uh, desulfurator function to it um, and it did not have an inline fuse so it said it would charge a battery, so I hooked it up to the battery, and it would do the whole desulfur thing, and then gradually switch over to charge, and then gradually switch over to maintenance. It was supposed to do all that automatically. Well, given that it had no inline fuse, what happened eventually is it must have pulled too much current for too long, and it was destroyed. The thing didn't work. And it was just out of warranty. So... Um, that didn't do me any good. Anyway, so here we are. Do I recommend it? Yeah, it seems to be a nice thing to have floating around. 22 bucks, not a big strain, especially if you get a free meter and you got to go there anyway. One minute, please. Um, and there, there we are. So, do I recommend it? <laughs> if you see it, um, um, banged up because it uh, it didn't live through charging this battery the answer is no but it, it seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing and charging and doing all of that so um, and once again the one change I would make 
I would probably go through the trouble of adding an inline fuse. This inline fuse is seven and a half amps, so I, I recommend that. Um, it's just the wise thing to do, just in case the microprocessor um, doesn't protect it. Okay, everyone, uh, thanks for watching and commenting, subscribing, remember feet down, heads up, get out and enjoy each and every day, and uh, let me know what you thought of this video, like or not. Take care. Bye now.